Hey everyone, this is the first video I'm going to be doing of a new sort, which is manga recommendations, where I go into a little more detail of certain series that I don't think a lot of people have read or heard about, maybe introduce something new to, to some people, and hopefully get them interested. So uh, what I'm starting with is Wandering Sun by Takako Shimura. It's a seinen series. And someone actually asked me to go into a little more detail of this anyway, so I thought it was a good place to start. <laughs> um, it's a completed series in Japan, it's got 15 volumes, it was released between 2002 and 2013. It's currently being released in English by Fantagraphics, and they've currently just uh, released volume 8 last month, so... We're about halfway through the story with English releases. It's a seinen release, and it deals with a lot of uh, slice of life and coming of age themes, uh, drama, romance, that sort of thing. But it is an LGBT uh, story or queer fiction, and it follows the lives of these two main characters here. So we've got uh, Shuichi Nitori and Yoshino Takatsuki, and they don't feel like they're born quite right, if that makes any sense. It, this story deals with a lot of uh, issues of transsexualism as well as gender identity. So in Japan there is such a huge focus on gender roles, even in their language, that these kids just feel like they're not, they're not right. They're not supposed to be like they are. It follows their lives between the fifth grade and to the end of high school, and it deals with these very, very sensitive topics um, very, very well, very respectively. It's not the greatest because it isn't. It is written for a seinen magazine. There are some things that aren't a hundred percent politically correct, I should say, but. It's so respectfully handled. Nothing is treated like a joke. It's all um, just very empathetic, very sympathetic to these characters' struggles that I th still think that it's one of the better uh, stories we have of gay characters, especially in anime and manga, <laughs> definitely. So, uh, because it is set during that kind of middle school, high school period. There's also a lot of issues of romance and and puberty and all those all those issues we go through when we're younger uh, that just screw us up and even more so with these kids because they're not quite sure how they're supposed to fit in, whether they're feeling the proper things, that sort of that sort of thing, if that makes any sense. Because puberty is a huge um, point of our lives where everything changes. We grow up. So to grow up in a body that you don't feel is your own is a very strenuous and sad and disappointing and stressful thing. And it, it deals with that as well and how we as people ad adapt to that, how the people around us adapt to that. And it's not all, it's not, it's not fun. This isn't a happy, necessary, it's not necessarily a happy story. There's not a lot of, um, there's no happy ending really. It's not just magically going to disappear or change. They, these are real life struggles and very real life situations for a lot of people. That's not to say that this is a huge downer of a series. There is a, quite a bit of humor, and uh, the, ki the kids are kids. They they laugh, they cry, they do everything else. It's a very realistic uh, depiction of of young people and the struggles they go through, queer or not. Um, I'm just going to show you the covers because, as you can see, it's quite a simple art style, but I think it does get across a very uh, innocent and kind of black and white feel which just um, adds to that kind of early young period of our lives where everything should be black and white but <laughs> we all know it's not. So there's volume one, 
volume 2, volume 3, volume 4, volume 5, volume 6, and volume 7. Now these Fantagraphic releases are beautiful, they're quite large. Compared to a typical manga volume you can see, it's nowhere near. They're all hardcover, they've got um, kind of coloured pages at the front, and but they are a little bit more expensive. They're about 25 US dollars each, but I'm sure, knowing the US, you can probably find them cheaper. Uh, inside is just the same kind of artwork. There's not a huge amount of detail, but the emotions come across very nicely, and there doesn't really need to be. All the characters are very clearly distinguishable. You're not going to go halfway through the series and not know who anybody is, can't tell the difference. And the setting is just modern day Japan. There's nothing too fantastical about it, anything like that. Now, if you like this sort of story, if you've read this, or if you have other um, series like this, <laughs> you may also like Love at 14, uh, which is currently being published by Yen Press, which deals with that sort of romance early period of puberty where everything is kind of weird <laughs> and everyone's changing. And that's a very sweet series. A Whispered Words, which is a Yuri series that's currently being released by One Piece Books. Um, Paradise Kiss, which handles gender and sexuality quite well. That's currently being released by Vertical, or re-released by Vertical, I guess. And After School Nightmare, which is, was released by Go Komi. It's complete out there in English somewhere, but quite out of print, so you may have to hunt down a couple of volumes. And that one, again, handles uh, kind of gender identity and, and high school and that sort of thing quite well as well. But it is different from Wandering Sun. It's a bit more fantastical. Um, anime recommendations, definitely Wandering Sun, the anime, as well as uh, Sweet Blue Flowers, her other manga, uh, and th therefore anime, which has been released by Lucky Penny, or Right Stuff's kind of cheaper uh, value release. Um, if you want to buy any of these books, uh, I'll put a couple links in the description, but uh, I personally use Book Depository. It has free worldwide shipping, and it's probably the cheapest around, uh, but also Amazon, or um, your local bookstore maybe be, might be able to get it in, but you can also buy it off of Fantagraphics website. And they have a couple bundles, like with multiple volumes, so you can save on shipping costs as well. But thank you for watching this first volume, I or this first video. <laughs> I hope it's a bit enlightening. It gets you interested in something you normally wouldn't hear much about. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks a lot.